name is Rosie. I'm a junior at Turpin High School and I struggle with obsessive compulsive disorder, depression, and anxiety. I first noticed that I struggled with OCD when I was six because I used to like walk around my room and have to like turn the lights off a certain number of times, check under my bed a certain number of times, or like I thought that everyone in my family would die, which is like really scary for a child. And I didn't really say anything about it because I didn't really understand what was going on. And it kind of manifested into intrusive OCD, which is basically when like there's a part of your brain that acts up and makes you think that everything that's going on if you're in danger or you're always afraid and it kind of like follows you around and makes you think really really bad things and everyone has like bad thoughts but people with intrusive OCD cannot get rid of them they attack and eat at you for like days or even weeks at a time it used to be like 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. fight or flight every day no matter what as soon as I woke up it started and didn't stop until I went to bed and started again when I woke up the next day and that was exhausting physically and mentally I just felt like I was at a breaking point and that like makes it really hard to be social around people because you're like worried internally about something that you think you've done or did wrong and it's really hard to like go out and be social. That's definitely something that I started to realize that I was struggling with. If I went to like a party or a social event, I felt so small compared to everyone else, worried that I was gonna do something wrong, worried that something was gonna go wrong. It was just kind of like a constant state of fear. Like my OCD just followed me around no matter where I went, just like a dark shadow in my life and that really started to like trickle into like me having like serious depression problems because I just felt like this is never gonna leave this is never gonna go away I'm never gonna be okay and that like made it really difficult I did start to get really suicidal in my thoughts like very dark thoughts and I was driving on Columbia Parkway this is probably the most distinct thing I remember and I just thought like what if I just took my car to the other way and so I felt my foot like start getting faster, I started going maybe like 65 on that road, which is normally like, I guess a 45, 50, and like edging towards a line, but I stopped myself and put myself back in the lane and realized like, that's not worth it. Like, I don't want to like not be here. I want to be able to make a difference and um, live my life no matter what I'm going through. And my parents were confused because one of the things like when you have depression, you'll show anger to people that are trying to show love to you. So like they just like didn't understand why I wasn't communicating with them, didn't connect with them. Whenever they would try to talk to me, I would just be like, okay, or like yeah, like I didn't try to like be a part of the family. It even like ended up getting like violent sometimes just because of how mad I would get, which I feel really bad about because all they were trying to do is like comfort me and then we kind of like started talking about like you seriously need to get help and I was like at first pretty nervous about that, but I realized like if I wanted to have a relationship with my mom or my family, that is something that I had to do. Otherwise, I probably would not have a relationship with them in the future. And so I started going to therapy, I'd say maybe two months ago. I've been on um, antidepressant and OCD medication for six weeks. With OCD, there's really like, it's not going to go away when you take medication. But there's so much in therapy that I've learned about like neutralizing those thoughts. Once I learned those methods, I realized like it's you don't have to end it. It's not worth it. It's so much better to just stay and fight because beating it is a great feeling. Even though some days are really, really difficult for me, other days are a lot better now that I know like this is like not my fault. I can't control this. So I just need to kind of keep going and like fight against it because even though OCD will like follow, will follow me and probably affect me for my whole life, I'm stronger than it and I'm better than it and it's not going to stop me from pursuing passions, loving my family and just being like a regular teenager. But I think it's really important to talk about these issues because there really shouldn't be a shame with it. That's the most important thing. Like. I'm not ashamed of having OCD or depression. I would tell anyone that I had OCD or depression because it doesn't make me feel bad. Everyone goes through things in their lives that affect them. Some may be worse than others, but there's no shame in who you are and you need to learn to love yourself so that you can start letting other people love you. My name is Rosie and I'm more than my OCD.